Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you with a video here, and uh, I mean, if you know my channel, you know this is coming. If you know anybody else's YouTube channels, you know that this comparison uh, was inevitable. We've got now released the Auto World Square Body Chevy trucks, okay, and we had some, we have M2 has come out with a Square Body Chevy. We all know about the Hot Wheels Square Body Chevy, the '83 Chevy Silverado from Hot Wheels, um, and. Also, Greenlight will be coming out with one, um, from what I hear, as well, uh, pretty soon. So, but we have to get this out of the way first. We're going to have to compare the Auto World to the M2. Now, I'm going to totally admit I am biased towards Auto World. If you watch my channel, you know Auto World is my favorite uh, domestic brand uh, to collect. Um, I love Auto World. I am an Auto World completionist. I try to get every single release, including Ultra Reds. Not including Ultra Raws, because that would be nearly impossible for me. But you guys know I'm nuts about Auto World. So, yes, I am biased. But I will try to make this as objective um, as possible and give you my honest opinion on these trucks. Okay, so... The Hot Wheels is kind of the gold standard, we'll call that. But we need to get this, um, before we start comparing anything, we're going to go ahead and get uh, this out of the package. So let's go ahead and open up this Auto World. Now this Auto World, by the way, um, each version of this, this is available in this blue color and also in a yellow color. I don't have the yellow color out right now. I'm going to open that at a later date, along with the Ultra Red of this truck, so stay, stay tuned to the channel for that, is limited to 7,016 pieces. Um, so this casting is going to be, in Oop, I dropped it already. Uh, this casting is going to be interesting because they are going to come up with a bunch of different uh, variations. They already got a step side variation um, along with this fleet side. And, but for now, we're going to look at the one that everybody's probably interested in, and that is this one. Yes, the step side is very, very cool too, uh, but we are going to go ahead and just take a look at this one. And the reason being is because it's the one that is the most comparable to the other two brands that we're looking at. Now, it should be noted as well, this is a 1973. The M2 is uh, modeled after a 1979. And of course, everybody knows the 83 Chevy Silverado from Hot Wheels. All right, so let's take a look at this auto roll in detail to begin with. Um, it looks very nice. The wheels are not, I don't think, prototypical. They're going to be um, custom wheels. And they do look great. This wheel design is borrowed. Um, it has been used before, and shoot, you know what, I didn't bring out a, a version of that, um, but I do have it in the package here. Let's just take a look. So this is the Auto World True LE line, and there's your wheel design right there. So those were on these wheels. Yes, this packaging is rough, but just to tell you where those wheels came from. So... They decided to put them on the Silverado, and I think it was a good choice. The, it does look look good on this uh, Cheyenne, I should say, um, truck. Uh, very, very cool. Very cool. All right, so we do have opening features on this truck. It is all metal. It does have rubber tires with shred, and it does have a opening tailgate, painted tail lights, license plate there detail there's the front of the truck and it, the hood should open as well and the hood does open revealing a fairly detailed motor all right so let's take a look at how the m2 compares to that here's the m2 this one does not have an opening tailgate uh, the bed is a lot more shallow as you will notice even though this truck is a lowered truck, the bed is very, very shallow on the M2. Uh, the M2 does have metal on metal construction as well, and is also set up for various variations of this truck. And it does also have an opening hood with, I would call it similar detail. It seems like the engine is set way far back in it. I don't know what is more accurate. It looks like there's a bit more detail on the uh, in the engine bay on the Auto World, for sure. So, and I don't know the difference between the, the years of these trucks since they are a few years apart um, from the trucks that they're modeled after. I'm not really sure. Um, so the detailing on the Auto World, it looks pretty good. 
there's a lot of silver trim, painted trim, and stuff like that. It's definitely not, I, I wouldn't call it perfect. Um, the grill looks absolutely fantastic. That's near perfect perfection for sure. I mean, it looks really good. It does look really good. Um, let's see here. I mean, I think they got this fairly right. I it's it's hard to say. Now, the Hot Wheels, of course, is the the gold standard here for the square body Chevys, and this isn't really something to compare because it's a totally different style of of you know and philosophy for uh, creating diecast models. This is definitely a custom look for the Silverado, and I can see why this one's collectible. It just is fantastic. This particular one that you're looking at is a convention piece uh, from the 18th Annual Collectors Nationals, Dallas, Texas. This one came courtesy of Angel, my buddy, AR Hotbox. So thank you very much again for hooking me up with this. And it is a very cool casting. It is a casting I collect as well, and I can understand why people like it for sure. Um, so... Let's talk a couple more differences between these two. One is this has painted headlights. This does have lens headlights. Now, I did have to fix, full disclosure, I did have to fix the headlight on this one. It was like, looked like a popped out eyeball. I had to pull it out and then glue it back in. So that's somewhat annoying, but that's why it looks the way it does. Um, this one also has uh, plastic pieces for the bumpers. The bumpers on this one, uh, the first one, Actually, both of them are actually metal. I think they are. Oh, wait, no. That's interesting. It looks... Oh, the back bumper is plastic. The front bumper is metal and actually part of the casting. They do a really good job of, like, making them look the same, even though ones, they're made out of different materials. So, so that's kind of cool. Uh, of course, the tailgate opens on this one. The tailgate does not open on this one. They both have fairly detailed sculpted interiors, although the Auto World one definitely does look better. I know that's hard to see on camera. You can see even the detail in the door right there, the inside of the door. Um, this one kind of has that, but it's a little bit less textured, a little bit less detailed. Um, wheels and tires. I definitely like the wheels and tires on the Auto World better than the wheels and tires on this one, but it does look good it still looks good i can't complain size size wise um they are pretty much right on the m2 is slightly wider um which m2 i think generally runs a little bit big so you know there's that um, scale wise, I think they look, you know, they're pretty much both very well done. I think this one might be a little bit bigger. The bed's a little crooked on this one. Uh, the bed is a separate piece on both of these castings. So this is a separate metal cast and that's so they can make different variations of the, of the truck. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? What do you guys? What would you rather have in your collection? You like the Auto World one better, or you like the M2 one better? Um, looking at these, I definitely like the Auto World one better, and I knew I was going to say that just because I'm 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 so biased. I really can't give you an objective opinion on this. <laughs> it's just tough. I love Auto World, and I really love that they did this truck, um, and I just think it's it looks a little bit better proportioned, I think, than than this one. I just think so. Mostly because this shallow bed, I think it looks really kind of goofy on this. Um, but they dropped it a lot further, so it's a lot lower. So that's that's why the bed has to be shallow. So there is a reason why. Um, I don't know, man. I, it, but detail-wise, I mean, they're really on par with each other. Um, the advantage that this one has, it has the inserted grill and the inserted headlights, and I'm a fan of that. It also has inserted taillights. Now, the taillights are done pretty sloppily on this, though. The license plate, just having the 1979 there, that's that's l definitely a, a less detail than the rear bumper and how this one looks on this. So, tailgate-wise, I definitely will give the edge to the Auto World, not just because of the opening part. Um, Grill-wise... I like the detail of the Auto World grill a little bit better than just this blacked out grill. 
um, but that's just kind of a design choice. Um, and but I do like the lens detail on the headlights better than the painted ones. If if Auto World were to have done a insert for the headlights, not necessarily the taillights, but just the headlights, I think this would be a definite win uh, for Auto World. Um, the other things, it looks like the interior. There's a little bit of a gap right here, and this is getting nitpicky. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but it looks like that interior is not quite. Maybe it's not quite in correctly or shoved all the way up to the windshield line. You know, maybe it's got it on here too. So you can definitely see how there's more sculpted detail just looking in the interiors of these cars. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm signing with Auto World on this one, but you guys knew I was going to do do that, so it's kind of a no-brainer. I still think, I mean, this is a really good job. I mean, Hot Wheels did a great job creating this casting, and honestly, size-wise, it's like the same as the Auto World. It's the same length and about the same width, so it's actually probably pretty close to actual 164 scale, the Silverado is, so that's, that's awesome. Um, that's awesome from Hot Wheels. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Not really groundbreaking information here, but uh, I'm definitely signing with Auto World on this one. The M2 is very cool as well, though. It is definitely very cool. I definitely am going to get, like, a regular non-AutoZone version of this ca casting once it becomes widely available. And that is the other thing I'm going to warn you guys about. Do not overpay for these trucks, Okay. You know both of these companies know what they're doing. They're going to release a ton of them. There's going to be a ton of variations of these Silverados. I mean, Auto World will put out a lot of this truck. Okay, they already have 7,000 of just this color. Um, same with M2, and M2 is going to do it even more. M2 is going to come out with ridiculous numbers of these trucks. They're going to come out with sets that just have this casting in it. Um, you know there's going to be a plethora of releases of this square body Chevy from both brands. And then when Greenlight comes out with theirs, you know there's going to be, uh, they're going to come out with just probably, I would say probably 10 different variations within the first, you know, six months probably of its release. It's going to be in a ton of different series and it will be out a ton of times. So don't think that you have to go get these right away. If you just want one example and just i've seen some weird stuff going on in the second hand market already with especially this autozone when these first came out uh people were trying to sell the two packs that these came in for ridiculous money and then i've seen some weird stuff happen with this as well um well the ultra red's one thing yes the ultra red there's 420 of them out there okay so you're like on par with an you know in between like an m2 chase i guess like between a, a really rare limited to 251 and a limited to 750, this one comes in at like 420 pieces, the Ultra Red will be. Um, so it's not the rarest Ultra Red by any means, not even close. And uh, But it will be one of the most desirable, and they are going to be expensive. But all I got to say about that is just kind of, you know, chill out. You'll, you'll end up finding these if you didn't pre-order them. I pre-ordered uh, mine and uh, got lucky and got an Ultra Red. Um, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about getting one. But I will just say, you know, these are going to be very, very popular. They're going to be hard to get. If they hit the pegs, hit Walmarts, they're going to disappear immediately. Um, they are, but just don't fret about it unless you specifically want blue or yellow because they're going to come out with a ton. They're just going to because they're smart. They know they're going to sell. They know this is going to be a huge seller. Of course it is. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for now. Uh, once the green light piece is released, we will definitely revisit this topic and take a look again. And then maybe I'll have a different um, M2 one to compare, one that looks a little bit more stock, um, a little bit more of a stock livery to compare it to. And I'm not going to get every every one of these M2s that's released of these trucks. Uh, the Auto World, of course, is a different story because I'm an Auto World completionist, and just by the fact that it's an Auto World, I'm going to get every single one. Um, and then, of course, Hot Wheels, I don't get every single one of these Chevys because there are some that are way too expensive for what they are, in my opinion. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Of course, 
I definitely welcome your opinions in the comments on this one, so please drop a comment and let me know what you think um, and all that good stuff. Definitely, if this is your first time watching uh, my channel, please uh, hit that like button. Uh, check out some other videos, and if you like some other videos, just go ahead and subscribe. Um, that would be awesome. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys, so thank you very much, and have a great day.